Black Pop, Pop Stars. Stars. I'm Rizzo. I'm Benjamin. And today we are watching episode three of Bridgerton season two. A bee in your bonnet. Now, hmm, Benji, hmm. I saw a lot of bees in the first season and I have to say that I've surmised that the bee must have been what killed Sir Bridgerton. Got spoiler <laughs> alert. My goodness. Sorry. Sorry, not sorry, but we had it ruined for us. Plot threads, the queen's honing in on her suspects. Lady Delacroix, she saw Penelope in the square. Anthony has locked down the You mean, Anthony Bridgerton. Bridgerton. Yes. Bridgerton. Oh, and uh, a final update. The pop stars might have been worried and concerned, but we indeed got, got lemonade. <laughs> we got our lemonade, y'all. Cheers. <laughs> like, follow, subscribe, hit bell, notice. And if you want to see the full reaction, check out our Patreon. Let's do it. Three, two, one, engage. engage. What is this, edge. Twilight? All it takes is one clean shot to the heart to foul even the greatest of beasts. I think that was a double meaning. Oh, fuck you! Oh, nice try, loser. Got those old timey guns. You can't aim that shit. I can just hear what Benedict will have to say about this. Is that his Call dad? Too. No, that's his one year older brother. <laughs> that is not supposed to be his dad. I just a baby. I just a baby. And that's well, supposed to is, be. It said ten years I earlier. Like this is ten years. Why does he look exactly the same? And he's got ten years later sideburns. <laughs> they should have tried to match the sideburns from season one. You have to show me how to do that! I think they CGI'd his face. You make it sound so easy. Nothing ever rattles you. Is that the pocket watch she was using earlier? Oh, I believe your mother would have quite a few things to say about that. Well, speaking of which, she would adore those. No! <sighs> run, father, Be run! Be careful! Does he not know he's allergic? Well, that's what I'm wondering. They're quite lovely, are they not? Ah! <gasps> father! And there he oh, goes. The damn thing stung me in. Damn, is it father? that quick? Father! <laughs> Get him an EpiPen! Oh shit. Help us, someone! What happened? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know! So what happened? Is it because it stung him on his throat? Well, it probably closed up faster since that's where the sting was, but if he's allergic, then yeah, his throat's gonna close up. <laughs> what could you have done? In that time, probably not much. Maybe stab him right here? You want tracheotomy? Oh, that would be so crazy. How did he go his whole life? <laughs> Not knowing, not knowing he was he's allergic, allergic to bees. Yeah, that's pretty, uh... Anthony! Oh, sh go! shit. Just how quickly that happened, that's insane. And then he has to, like, he's still in shock and he has to take care of the kids. Not worry about the Viscount's favor, Miss Edwina. It is an exceedingly good sign that he has invited us to spend a few days with the family before the rest of the talk. I was just thinking of. <laughs> I was just thinking of, of Anthony being on some bee vendetta, and he just carries pistols. Out. <laughs> ah! Bees! I mean, on the bright side, he's the finest shot in all of England. <laughs> 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 he can Sorry, shoot man. a bee out a bee on your shoulder. <laughs> he just breaks down into crying, but you never know why, because it's like, was there a bee pass by? Oh, there was a bee right on me. <laughs> <laughs> That's sad though. If there's anyone here watching who has actually lost someone, I'm not laughing. Like I'm not laughing at you, but if someone has lost someone no. to a bee sting, that fucking sucks. Anyways, we should Give probably keep fucking watching this. Considering how I might perform as Viscountess. We should all pass the week with open minds. I should be the very picture of amiability. I thought to pay a visit to White's. Excellent idea. Sure you'll find the gentleman there, very good company. But only the gentleman, you must not call on any more ladies. We will not move out. What we need to find is someone malleable. Someone stupid enough not to know any better and not to know how to take on and manage a household. Penelope, do you want to marry your cousin? I want to move into Philippa's room. Why she always got the bigger one has never been fair. So they're not... What? Super related. We were just saying what an eligible match Lord Featherington would make. For whom? You. But he's our cousin. Yep. And since when has that ever created an issue? It is not odd to marry one's cousin. Since when could we not marry cousins? Apparently Siri doesn't know and we can't marry our cousins. <laughs> it's been that long. Oh, I am so pleased. 
pleased you were able to come. Is, it is a, your um, oh dear Augie to miss out on what? Is your husband here? Is that is that guest oh, star? Oh, he's um out of the country on business. Now come and see the baby Eloise. Why well, has it changed since I saw him last? <laughs> He's grown at least an inch, haven't you? Enjoying your brief respite from the ferocious packs of marriage-minded young ladies, brother. Enjoying your respite from Pete Davidson? I have invited one such young lady and her family to join us today. What is she like? Miss Edwina is the picture of grace. She's younger than you! <laughs> Unfortunately, oh, she has a so most weird. annoying sister who has styled herself as something of a gatekeeper. I'm afraid you must all help me win over both sisters if I'm to find my bride. Mm, that sounds like a you problem. <laughs> Seeing as though you were such a help to me last season, it would only be fair of me to return the favor. Is that a promise or a threat? Mm. I, I was about to say, that's a threat, girl. Like, oh, I'll help you just like you helped me last time. My great godson. Oh, that's right. Well, it's a joy to see you as well, Lady Dam. Where the goddamn hell is my godson? Huh? Could you not pay him enough? <laughs> didn't think so. They but didn't have the money in the You're the new Duke of Hastings now. Off auditioning for James Bond, I hear. <laughs> <laughs> Don't throw the baby. You're smiling. Because she's having a bridge or ton. Have fun. I see my plan to win you over is already working. I was Thank smiling you. at the view, which you are now blocking. Newton is an excellent judge of character. Oh, see? There you go. And you must be Miss Edwina. No, this is her sister. Miss but, Kate oh, Sharma. You should tell your uh, pants me. that. It is an honor, your grace. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> She's like, I am pleased to Yeah, that checks out more. No. It's like, I feel like Daphne is ready to call bullshit on that already. The sister is like, um, in 10 seconds, I've decided that it's that one, not that one. So you're quite set on your decision then, I take it. You should take the opportunity to get to know one another. Mm. Unnecessary. <laughs> Miss Edwina will make the perfect Viscountess, to be sure. I feel like, <gasps> there's no diamonds. Whoa, I just don't. I mean, the the house and and I feel like you could maybe sell the horse and get me a diamond. No? This house carries many memories, good and bad. I only want you to be certain. What do you want, Mom? My Lord, might we begin with the arrangements? The minister will need to be called and. Uh. Casket, of course. One will need to be built. Forgive me, my lord, but I have questions about the body. Should I move it from his oh chambers? Oh my god. There's also the business of the letters. To give notice of the death. Uh, we should send for the doctor. She's still hysterical. With the baby, this cannot be good for her health. I like your mother's things arranged. You are the Viscount now. Oh, that's rough. One guy comes in. We'd like to reach you about your cause extended warranty. What exactly are the rules of this game? You can use your turn to knock an opponent's ball as far away from their next wicket as you would like. Mm -hmm, that's Why fine. waste a turn if the point is to get one's own ball through the wicket? To infuriate your opponent, I gather. Precisely. I get her. I believe I should rather enjoy this game. I believe I should rather enjoy you when you marry my brother. I don't like this one that much. Colin is crafty. He will strike when he thinks you're least suspecting it. Eloise concentrates entirely on defeating her older brothers. And the hope <laughs> is that she gets so absorbed by them that she forgets about you. <laughs> wow. I, of course, may complete Enigma, who will divulge none of my secrets. And Smart. then there is Anthony. Oh. Let me guess, the most ruthless cutthroat player. <laughs> Why you have made his acquaintance. <laughs> I'm sure the Viscount is an excellent player. <laughs> I won't let my sister beat me! I wanna win! I hear there's a new modiste across the street just arrived from Vienna. Perhaps she will have something that will display your assets to the better advantage, Prudence. Perhaps you could try Sears. Just the other day I ripped my bodice and I had to borrow a dress from my maid to return home. I believe you might have seen me. I do not recall. Good. Are you often in that part of town? She's like, I keep Seems. secrets too, babe. She's rather far from the fashionable side. Perhaps one might just do the same thing. A lady's business is her own. Would you not agree? There you go. Last year we promised to let the youngest pick first. pick based on alphabetical order. The only fair thing to do Siblings, is to let our invited man. guests choose their mallets and strike first. Take your pick, Miss Edwina. No, not that one! I mean, sure. An excellent choice. I think by this point they would all know the colors they're using. The mallet of death. Oh, would you look at that, brother? That's your mallet. Is this yours? Look at how compatible you, you guys are. Last time I that you exaggerate. Oh, are you the superstitious sort? I know some men cannot perform without their familiar tools. <laughs> like a child with a blanket. Wow. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the pink one. Field of combat. 
She, she's not ready for this. She got left behind by all of Everyone. them. Everyone. And her own sister. Even Daphne. Get out They were her. like, bye. I think they're enemies. <laughs> but, well, I'm either going to marry her or kill her. I did not wish to leave my ball in your path, so I've left an open space so you can send yours. How very kind of you, my lord. Oh, so I smelled the bullshit. shit. But yeah. I will admit my thoughts are far from the field. I love whatever he's wearing underneath. He's got some cool flower patterns going. I've applied to become a student of he's art. He's the artist. He's got more style. At the Royal Academy schools. Oh, I must compliment you on your daughters, Lady Mary. They are my greatest blessing indeed. And perhaps our greatest challenge too. <laughs> Maybe yours. <laughs> Motherhood seems to suit the Duchess very well. Yes, it does. Where's her daughter's son? It's like motherhood suits her. She's nowhere near her baby. Not to say that she can't ever leave it, but if you're going to compliment her motherhood, maybe do it when she's mothering. <laughs> Doing the exact same thing she always did. Play pleasant, Didi. In light of my brothers and sisters' tactics, Miss Sharma conducts herself with much grace and beauty. Then you shall not mind this. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Imagine if he was not trying to impress her sister right now. You could still retrieve your ball if you wish to stay in the game. Mm -hmm. Somebody should get it for her. Maybe a brave gentleman to brave the woods. You see, my father died because of leaves. What? I think I shall cut out. She can't go in there. Go get her ball for her. I shall uh, join you. You like? There is no need to spoil your fun on my account. You are my fun. If you're not here, I'm not having fun. Let's go get some refreshments. That was what he should say. See, don't even like her, but we already know that. Oh, what a oh, shot, brother! Oh, oh. Oh, was that hers? What a shame. Damn. You two better go fetch them. Oh. Oh. Well, that's Absolutely not. fun. <laughs> oh, dear. Your, your stubbornness and stubborner. <laughs> that is the sequel to Bride and Prejudice. Stubborn stubborn stubborner. <laughs> stubborn stubborner. We could pluck them out. No one would be any the wiser. But we would know. But I would know. So he's got some integrity. You do have honor, Ben. That and the fact I suspect you would loudly advertise my cheating the moment I stepped out of line. Truth. And vice versa. See, and her sister. Oh, my goodness. Oh, honey. At least hike your dress up so you can hide it later. Your play, my lord, unless you do not wish to dirty those fine boots of yours. Do not worry about my boots. They are made for walking. And that's just what they'll do. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Just pull. I am trying it to stop. Oh, what a great idea! I'll just pull! What? I didn't think about that! Now that you mention it! I actually just forgot how to stand, so here I am standing, <laughs> and then I thought, how do I get out of here? But then you said pull, <laughs> and now that you done brought it up. Mm. Aw, how wacky. Yeah, y'all should probably <laughs> not go back to the house. You look like trash. <laughs> <laughs> They're enemies. <laughs> They're so messy. And since we are long past formalities. Why won't you let me boing your sister? As you two have sisters to protect. That is different. It is my duty as their guardian. It's almost I the exact same. He was blocking the Duke of Hastings last season. Pat. <laughs> <laughs> your turn, my lord. Oh. Uh, is something the matter? What's happening? Is that the same Is that area? where he died? Lord Bridgerton, do you not wish to retreat? The game is over. I thought that was the look for a second, but then it didn't shake. It's okay, she's gonna find out about his secret. She'll be like, God damn, if I'm not ten times hornier for you. Because he withheld emotional. Uh, this is why I didn't tell women my problems at first. Because every time I learned it from movies, it was like, You have to hold it back, because they don't respect you unless they find out themselves. Right, hold it back, but direct them in the area where they're like, Is it my fault? Is he mad at me? Oh, wait a minute, it's this deep secret that he could have possibly told me if he had been a healthy communicator, but since he's not, I'll do the heavy lifting and I'll kiss him. That's how I learned That's... how to find a woman. Look at that, and you were single for a very long time, unfortunately. <laughs> Surprisingly. <laughs> You can get him back in here now! Oh, they talked about this in the last season. What? You must come in. Where she was saying the night that their mom gave birth to Hyacinth that she was screaming so loud it rattled the windows and that Daphne was trying to sing to Eloise to oh, distract her. Oh, I forgot her. about that. The baby is not in position. There may need to be a choice made. 
Who would your lordship prefer? <laughs> Well, I have six siblings and one mom, so... I will find out what he's asking of me and return immediately. He's he asking, asking you... to decide which one of us should live, me or the baby. The choice is Edmund's because he loved me. I don't love you? His love isn't going to turn the baby, hon. Do what she wants. Your lordship. Whatever she chooses. Well, I mean, congrats. You did a good job. And remember to laugh at his jokes. Every man wishes to be thought a sharp wit. <laughs> <Good afternoon. laughs> Is so clever. Might I return to the modiste? I need new ribbons. Not now, Penelope. She's like, get me out of here. This is so awkward. Mama says everywhere beyond Hampshire is positively Shh, uncivilized. Don't, don't. Mm. Don't. Don't say that. How she jests. It proves her. <laughs> Such a wit. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> well, the Americas are certainly further than Hampshire. <laughs> No, I can see why she hasn't made a match yet. Cousin Jack did not glance once at my bosom. Stop calling him that. Right. Stop that too. <laughs> you failed. You did a terrible fucking job. <laughs> my responsibilities will keep me moving around quite often. It is entirely possible that there'll be stretches of time where I'll be apart from my children and my wife too. I do look forward to supporting my husband in whatever his endeavors may be. To do express yourself so agreeably, Ms. Edwina. I like that they're literally here to listen, but they have to pretend that they're doing anything else. I myself am fortunate to have found a love of literature. The only books I've read this year are ledgers. They're all dreadfully boring. <laughs> oh, they got a little match too. Uh-oh. You are much too busy to read, and I am very much in need of someone to tell about my stories. Skip! No, I'm telling you what the book- Skip! I just wanted to talk about- Other books similar. I-, I, I did... Skip! What did you talk about? Don't worry about it, jealous. <laughs> you jealous, sis? <laughs> I was convinced my poor showing on the Palmal field left the Viscount feeling indifferent. What a stupid reason to dislike someone, but- But if you don't match in certain things, like if I took somebody to karaoke and they hated it, I'd be like- Not hated, playing bad, though. But if she- if they- if you can't hang, you can't hang, you know? But he asked me questions about myself. About our family. He was interested in everything I had to say, Dee Dee. In the books I have read, even in the books I have not. Wow, that's really something. It's freaking gone with the wind. Miss Edwina did not need to win a silly game in order to win my heart. Heart? Who are you and what have you done with my brother? Who are you and what have you done with your <laughs> husband? <laughs> when all you are able to do is to fight the urge to lean forward and, and touch their lips with yours. If that is the feeling you have when you are with Miss Edwina, I am quite happy for you indeed. Well, not everyone gets that. Daphne. You know, I could not have described it better myself. Lion. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Y'all need to get a hobby. I think they have a hobby. <laughs> Do I really wish to know? Do not answer that. Switch doors, switch doors. <laughs> Lord Featherington. He's Are right you? in that age where he could date either of them. Stone mines back in the Americas. <laughs> They certainly do make for the most exquisite. Like her or her mom. I bet you could never find a venison like this in the Americas. <laughs> do <laughs> they have deer like in England? <laughs> People are gonna be like, yes, you idiot! All those years traveling, you have not been tempted to marry? No, I just like to fuck. I don't give a shit in the Americas. <laughs> right? America's crazy, bro. Prudence, did you say something? I was wondering if perhaps after dinner I might display my singing voice for everyone. Please don't. Might I ask you for the honor of your company for a promenade? A rotten row, perhaps? <laughs> I would be simply delighted. Mm, you'll be delighted, but she won't make it past dessert. <laughs> we put a little surprise in your pie. I always go there. It always gets to that place. If it is a clear mind you seek, brother, I may know how to help. Worldly travelers use it as a way to open their minds and transcend ordinary anxieties. Sweet. They're taking peyote? It spells rather foul, does it not? It only takes the smallest of doses to fill the effect. Oh, mushrooms, probably. <laughs> His dad shows up in a big costume. <laughs> Hello, son. <laughs> What's the buzz? Are you quite well, brother? This tea is quite the elixir. On one occasion, I found myself meditating for hours upon a single blade of grass. 
<laughs> B for oh, Bridget. No. no, no, Kevin. No. Oh, that's bad. I'm a weed gummy. Yes, I'm a weed <laughs> gummy. It <laughs> I'm a, I'm a, I'm a. Amazing. I want to have nothing to do on the day but sit on my massive ass patio and <laughs> sip tiny little teacup. But everyone tells me it is fate worse than death to end up a spinster. But you seem perfectly content with your situation. She's not a spinster. I mean, I guess. You must know it is hardly ideal. Does she have an accent? Yeah, I feel like it keeps going back and forth. Sometimes it's kind of Middle Eastern and other times it's pure British. Yeah. Or am I tripping? There seems to be no place in society for us except at the edge of things. That rather seems to be society's flaw, not a woman's. <laughs> Indeed it does. I'm gonna be the biggest fuck you if a beehive sprouted <laughs> on his grave. No! 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 You don't get to be here! You don't get to be here! It's very sad, don't mock his pain. He becomes the crazy, oh. like, prospector that's always like. I slept, I bathed, I saw the children. I waved at them as they passed by. <laughs> I get dressed, I feed myself, I try to breathe in and out. I force myself to stop by the nursery. Can I think about how sorry I feel for little baby Hyacinth because she will never know Edmund's laugh. And because she was named Hyacinth. <laughs> That's a pretty name. Or what it is to be hugged in his arms. All I'm thinking is that this little baby did not do me the kindness of killing me so that I could be with my husband. Ugh, Mom. Edmund was the air that I breathed. Now there is no air. How do you expect me? I am doing my best. I, no I can understand why he would probably give up love. It's like, I'm well... Sorry. That if shit's that's exhausting. that's how it ends. But I mean, watching them be that happy for what, like 20 years? I feel like that would give you the hope that, you know, you just marry somebody who's not gonna die from a bee sting. If someone is a skydiver and then dies from skydiving, while that person might be like, worth it, I had all these great experiences skydiving, someone else might be like, no, they died of skydiving. <laughs> yeah, but if everybody in the world skydives, and they all die. Keep it, everybody dies anyways. Okay, the metaphor is yeah. about love. If everyone's in love, breaks up. It's fine. You're saying like love is skydiving and this person died from skydiving. Right. But it's easy to avoid skydiving because skydiving isn't a part of normal society. Well, he doesn't think. <laughs> Your father took his role as Viscount seriously, but he also loved. And he fucked so deep. Ugh. Mama! I know how sweet and earnest you were as a boy. Always with a kind word and a, and a joke. Anthony joking? But then after your father died, a wall went up inside you as if love had become some... Skydiving accident. Some weakness. I seek an amiable partner with whom I may share a pleasant life, untouched by heartbreak and the ravages of grief. You know, that's fair. I guess. You were barely even there. I can never be the cause of such pain, no matter how cruel and hard-hearted everyone else may find me to be. Yeah, Lisa's intentions are up front. But he's also just salty because he couldn't get the one woman he loved because he wasted too much time messing around with her. This room. Like, all he needs to do is fall in love and he'll get over it. Have you noticed, Cole? I'm a wee gummy. I guys, I'm a wee gummy. We sit among the stars. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? Benedict, how brilliant the stars were in Greece. He's sweating. Wow. He's the resident pothead. Are you enjoying your time here, Miss Edwina? I am, very much. The buzz of the city is thrilling indeed. Buzz. My dad died of bees. <laughs> Seriously though, like when you're traumatized, everything will trigger you. Penelope, you look like a bee. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Dude. Oh! Benedict, dear. Yeah! That's <laughs> quite all right, Lady Bridget. Perhaps. I want to watch a movie about potheads set in this time <laughs> period. Death Pineapple Road. Express, but. <laughs> it's Pineapple Express, but yeah. 18, whatever. Pineapple Pony Express. <laughs> <laughs> My sincere gratitude to the Sharmas. It has certainly been a privilege to truly make your acquaintance these past days. I'm gonna propose right I believe now. No, no. There is a question I would like to ask you. Have you seen the weather? 
It's nice, right? I just like to, uh... Oh. Oh, no. Oh, this is awkward. Oh, you made a whole announcement, and now you're gonna... Ah. Uh, I just I wanted like to, to know, you what's to your favorite kind of bird? refrain from telling anyone back in London about yesterday's loss. Great. Oh, look at her. Um, <laughs> to the pleasant days ahead. <laughs> uh, pleasant days. Yeah. Were well, you gonna ask her to marry you? Yeah. We can all see it. <laughs> Oh no, that's uh, crushed her oh. tiny little soul. And now you're gonna go for her sister? You are toxic! He said, I'm just tying my shoes, babe. <laughs> you must know you did nothing wrong. I must have done something. <sighs> Surely if the Viscount were to propose, he would have done it by now, yes? Their accents are switching, yes. Yeah, I don't. What if I have missed Both my of them. She doesn't talk as much, but I feel I, like it's, it's there. Because I've been listening, I noticed it. I should have been better earlier and I've been trying to listen. You've bungled this entire affair. I hate seeing you like this. I do too, stop it. You thought he liked me. You are the diamond of the season. Truth, it's just sad how like completely obvious it was. How it's not like, oh, well there's still an option. Like, no, there's not. Ooh, oh. that is really pretty. Why does he have bees on <laughs> his vest? There's bees on your vest! <laughs> A letter from London. No, oh, he didn't get it. He's too happy. He got the small envelope. It's a rejection letter. I got it! Uh. Oh, I the... <gasps> Why is there any now? You shall all bear witness to my talents! It's the middle of the Come night. Again. Do you have neighbors? Like, no one lives there. You have like 30 acres of property. You're fine. I think it will last much longer. Yeah. The devil if I know. He's like, does anyone want Funyuns? <laughs> so what are Funyuns? I don't know, but I'm thinking like some sort of onion, but like fun, because we like fry it. Ooh. Yeah. 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 Mayfair's newest modiste has one thing only going for her. She is new. Whereas Madame Delacroix might be old, but at least she is capable. Oh, she tried to help her. It is your job to be observant, to hide your client's secrets, just as I too hide. Behind my pen. I'm Hannah Montana. She's gonna tell her? I have no interest in revealing your identity. I believe I can trust you. I think we can be of use to one another. Is this the first sponsorship? There you go. The Do you feel like your rags are just last season? Lady Delacroix has the style for you. Lady no. Delacroix is so talented and regal and elegant, she'll make you look like the diamond of the season. And I'm not just saying that because she sponsored this episode. No, I would really say that. So Madame Delacroix then knows that she's Lady Whistle. Yeah, and now they're they're gonna- My enterprise grows more difficult for me to maintain on my own. I have proved to you how I can help you in your business. Now I'd like you to help me with mine. Did you have to call me old? Ah, uh, she let her in on her accent change. It could not be so obvious with my flattery, but is it not working? Madame Delacroix, I require your expert knowledge. I believe I was first. Did you guys- By the coordinate? Yeah. Lady Whistledown said, uh, 35% off? But yeah, yeah, uh, as long as I say that I know Lady Whistledown is not Penelope Featherington, I get a discount. Yes. Uh-oh, he's brooding and he probably won't express his feelings and let it, unless I pry them out of him. Mm. Is your sister not feeling her best this morning, it seems? Maybe because you were a fuck. I did not mean to disappoint her last night. You must assure her I still intend to propose. Then why didn't you? And last night was a lark. All you are doing, my lord, is toying with the emotions of an impressionable young lady. Exactly. Happiness is not your strength. Exasperation, perhaps. Fixation, <laughs> most definitely. The only feeling. Do not tell no, me. No, stand still, what damn it. You do. No, no, do not do. This is only a beat. Ow. Oh. Has he never seen someone get stung since then? Can you breathe? It is <laughs> if you get a little closer, I won't be He's able certain. to breathe. <laughs> well, don't you die? I am unharmed. I don't know how I feel right now. I feel very confused. I have the weirdest boner. Well, there you go. He's like, so I'll marry you and a bee won't kill you. And you'll be around forever. <laughs> <laughs> That's my new criteria. I must sting them all with a bee and if they don't die. That was very intimate. Why didn't he just become bee man? 
He was traumatized by bees. He's got a lot of money. He lives a loner lifestyle. I say he dresses up in a bee costume and beats up criminals. There's not enough criminals in the town. That's you right. Gotta... Damn it, why aren't there more criminals in this town? Fun. That was really good. I'm actually, I'm really enjoying this season. I'm like obviously excited to see him develop feelings <laughs> for the older sister. I'm just so sad already for the younger Her sister. Edwina. Edwina's beautiful. She's gonna figure it out. She'll figure it out. But if she's already got her heart set on somebody, that's gonna look, suck. Look, <laughs> we've all had our heart broken. Have you? Keep watching, because these are coming out every Saturday and Wednesday. And keep an eye out for merch that should be coming up soon. We're super excited. It's going to look freaking awesome and better. Like, follow, subscribe. Hit, hit that the, bell for notifications. Bell for notifications. Which one is it, Rizzo? But yeah, follow us on Patreon, because we uh, you Have support us. reactions there. This, Here's the patrons our patrons. Support us. Thanks, patrons. Here's a bee! <laughs> I see lots of bees in these names. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> They're not even gonna scroll that long, are they? <laughs> this is so chaotic. Too many bees! I'm the bee man! Wait, are you afraid of bees or are you a bee? Yeah! <laughs> I'll avenge my father! <laughs> we know it's you, Anthony! Shut up! <laughs> just let him be. Just let him be. Oh my god. Uh, it's just, this is my favorite book and I just really want Half speed! There that with you. It's a box of rat poison in this pot. <laughs> like a well, whole box. Oh, oh my goodness, how did that get there? Well, if you just move it, then I guess this is still good to eat. Bunions. Let's go to 7-Eleven. <laughs> what is that? I don't know. I'm seeing the future. I feel like they got Funyuns. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thanks, y'all. Uh, Love ya. <laughs> Until the next episode, I'm Rizzo. And Benji. Sweet dreams, pop stars. Keep watching. This is what you signed up for. If you're expecting a more regal and respectable Bridgerton reaction, this ain't the place! You came to the wrong spot! We're out here making up imaginary stories about bee costumes! <laughs> Oh my god. What is our problem, Benji? Yet another spin-off. <laughs>